Well, now it's time for some serious shopping. That means Jessica and I are going into the ultimate toy store to find out what you might be getting for Christmas. So we are standing in what has to be the, one of the most popular stores for the holiday season. I'm here with Jen at Toys R Us. Jen, tell me, uh, what are some of the favorite toys for the season? Oh, we got tons of new toys this year. Um, for girls, it tends to be things that are cute, cool, and collectible. Um, would you like to go see some of those? Yeah, let's go. So back here, we have what are called Zooblies. 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 Fun little creatures. They roll up into a ball and they have these little happy tats that when they get into their happy tat, they pop open and they're all kinds of fun. So it's one of those things that the girls can collect, trade, have all kinds of fun with it. The other thing is uh, squinkies. Little, it seems to be popular right now. Um, the smaller the better, huh? Yes, squinkies, and it comes with little little things that they can play in, these little guys there. It's a lot of fun. It just seems to be the, the cool thing right now is little, cute, collectible. Another great toy this year is going to be the Fastlane Wildfire Monster Truck. This thing is two feet uh, wide, a foot tall, has these big wheels, all terrain, light up flames, light up headlights, 360 spins, and has a great rechargeable battery pack with it's it. It's pretty cool. Um, I have a really great feeling this is going to be really hot this year. So so what else are, is going to be big? Uh, Toy Story. Toy Story was is back. It <laughs> is back and it is popular. One of the things we have over here is the Toy Story Landfill. It oh, is wow. The, the Tri County landfill. Um, basically, they can grab each other, fall down the conveyor belt, all types of things. Little guys spin, comes with Buzz, Lotso, the aliens. The aliens. The aliens. Everybody loves the aliens. And you can get extra little guys, Woody, uh, more of the little figures. So, really popular. Um, we also have another Toy Story item. Let's go check it out. This is one of my favorites I've seen so far. So yes, This one's great. Okay, so you command Buzz. This thing is great. Oh, man. He has a remote control. He does over a thousand different programmable moves. Make him spin, talk, I walk. sent something. Look out! He even does the Spanish dance and talks in Spanish just like in the movie. So. so I was noticing these cute little guys next to Buzz. What are these things? These are singamajigs. These are the it toy this year right now. This is the trend. Um, so what do they do? When you're not dropping them. <laughs> basically, they harmonize with each other. Ready? And, and you can also get them to speak gibberish <laughs> and they sing songs but you can press them all together and they'll just sing okay. okay so the other thing this year as we know last year zuzu pets were the hottest item they we couldn't keep them in stock people were lined up for them they're just as popular this year. We have tons of styles. And this year they expanded on getting into the boy market. So now we have Kung Zoos too. They have battle armor. They have little attack vehicles. Same as the old Zuzu, but with a newer look. We also have these wonderful rock star ones with little mohawks. Animal bunch ones. There's over 50 different types of Zuzu now. Very collectible. Very collectible. Kids love them. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to show us around, Jen. Um, but do you know where Maria went? You know, I think I saw her over in the Barbie world over there. Uh-oh. <laughs>much fun no matter what age you are but now it's time for some yummy fun we're heading over to iberry's
we are standing here in iBerries with Brian. Brian, you're the uh, the owner and founder of this store? Yes, I am. Uh, iBerries Frozen Yogurt was opened about a year ago in November of 2009. We tried to create a store that uh, the, the customer could have a, an experience just as well as having a, a good tasting yogurt. So we came up with the name iBerries, which kind of uh, uh, coincided with the iPhone iPods. We have some technology in our store. We have Wi-Fi. We have LED lighting. And we just kind of made it look kind of a, a space-age look, but in a kind of a warm feel. So. Um, well, you did a great job, and I want to show people how this works. Okay. So we well, start over here. Yeah, it's a self-serve store, which uh, gives the customer great versatility in choosing the type of yogurt they like, as far as the topping also. So we have uh, uh, 10 flavors here, and this is kind of um, new to the yogurt business. Also, we, we advertise our yogurt with the um, digital monitors instead of just a little placard. So we have 10 flavors that are advertised here on the uh, LCD screens course coinciding with the uh, five machines, two flavors each. So the customer just gets a, a cup here at the um, iBerries Cups. They come and they can try as much or as little as, uh, ice, uh, yogurt as they like. And um, and then uh, afterwards we go on this way to the toppings, which we have uh, over 28 dry toppings as well as uh, 18 fresh fruit toppings. And we kind of pride ourselves on having uh, new and innovative and different kind of toppings that a lot of stores don't have as well as our fruit preparation. Uh, a lot goes into that, uh, always fresh fruits uh, of the season and a lot of great care in the cutting and the uh, presentation of the fruits to make it a real pleasing uh, experience for the customer. So what do you find is the most popular of your toppings? Well, um, of the fresh fruits, it's always uh, strawberries, maybe by mango, uh, kiwi, uh, we have watermelon. Uh, seasonal one is also pomegranate seeds, which is very popular. And then with the dry toppings, uh, another favorite is uh, Oreo cookies, Oreo cookie crumbs, and uh, sprinkles and M&Ms seem to be really popular with the kids. Very cool. And so uh, over here you also have some computer terminals that right, people can... Right. two laptops that the customers can uh, use in the store. It's uh, uh, their Wi-Fi, which means they also they can bring in their own computer, their own little iPhone, smartphone, and, and surf the web while they're here. And, and uh, part of that is why that's why we have the couches here and, and uh, the chairs, just to make it feel a, a warm place like they can come in and, and sit down, do their homework, cruise the web, or do whatever they like. Well, thank you so much for showing us around, Brian. Yeah, sure. I think that I am going to go ahead and try some myself, so I okay. can't yeah. wait. Yeah. Okay, Jessica, just wrap a cup. Ooh. And we, we can start here with uh, vanilla and chocolate are kind of a, right. a steadfast flavors, which uh, a lot of kids and, and grown-ups like. It's, you know, it's those kind of, are you, nice. You those can, are very cool. You can count cool. on those, but we also have some other interesting ones. Mm -hmm. Pumpkin is a flavor that we offered right here during the holiday season, which is uh, very, very popular also. Cake batter, which is kind of interesting. People like that. And we have our first uh, no sugar added one here, palm blueberry, which is a mixture of uh, pomegranate blueberry. So if you're a little sensitive about uh, the sugar you intake, you can have, uh, choose that one. Well, I'm not, but I love pomegranate, so I'm definitely going to try sure. it. And I put it down here. Right underneath there and, and pull the handle down. All right. Okay. And then I also am intrigued by the... The porridge, yeah, that's a, a word made up by iBerries. That's a combination of orange and peach, which is very refreshing very cool. also. They're beautiful colors, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, cool. We have a pink grapefruit right here, which is uh, really delicious and uh, mouth-watering. It's almost like having a uh, glass of pink lemonade on a hot day. You might want to try a little of that, too. I and that's in, that's in the uh, tart category. We have a kiwi down here at the oh, end also, which is a, kiwi, which is yeah. a, a tart-flavored kiwi. And you might want to just try maybe a little bit of vanilla and chocolate because they're also very good, uh, pure vanillas and chocolates. Uh, you're going to have quite an assortment there when you get done, aren't you? <laughs> Looks good. A little bit of everything. Okay. Right. So how much can I put in here? Well, as much as you can eat. Uh, you can add yogurt and toppings to your heart's content. And we just weigh it at the end and charge by the ounce. OK, <laughs> let's walk this way. And you can add some toppings, uh, dry toppings. Okay, now that you have your yogurt, you can choose from uh, all of our delicious uh, toppings, mm -hmm. which ranges from everything from granola to uh, M&Ms to uh, gummy worms. So many choices. I think the gummy worms are definitely, uh, like I said, I'm a fruity. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. Fruits. All right. And then... Um, you have brownies, mochi, nuts. Ooh, are these the brownies? Brownies are really good. Okay, and then we can move along to the uh, fresh fruit toppings where uh, you get a chance to have some fresh uh, fruit. 
and um, fresh cut mango this morning. We have some interesting ones uh, that maybe some people don't have. We have a aloe vera, a gelled aloe vera. Oh, interesting. And also uh, a gelled uh, coconut. But then we have Ooh. things like pomegranate seeds, watermelon, mango. Lychees, right? Lychees, yes, that's very popular. Uh -huh. Okay, <laughs> Jessica, you made about the average size yogurt here. Enjoy. Thank you so much. I can't wait. Good. <laughs>